Once upon a time, not so long ago, there were two rather overgrown boys called Oliver and Peter. And Peter lived on a farm. It was rather an unusual farm because it didn't grow any crops and there were no sheep or cows. But it was the home of Ivor the Engine, Noggin the Nog, the Clangers, and of course Bagpuss. And there they made the most important, the most beautiful, the most brilliant, funny old small films in the whole wide world. Or so we like to think. Look! Look! Um, so what, what well, do you think we can show them? I don't know. What, what is there to see? There's, there's a clangers thing over here. There's a remains of a clangers yeah, set. He's a clangers what set. What about that? Uh, there's not a lot of it left, is there? Peter made the skeletons. Joan Fermin, his wife, knitted the uh, clangers themselves, and then you stuffed them, didn't you? We stuffed them with foam, chopped foam. Yes, people used to say to me, how did you get the voice of the soup dragon? And I would say, what do you mean, how did you get They whistle, and uh, it's a faint sort of uh, fluty whistle. The actual technicalities of it are beyond me. Having no air, they must communicate by some form of radio frequency, but it's... But they use uh, other things in the same way. They have a music boat that lifts them up by a ri rising scale of music. So oh, that, that, that's the real use of music, yes. Yeah. It's not for listening to, it's for travelling. Yeah. And they... Yes, that's good. Every year we thought... Next year, we'll probably be out of work because we haven't got anything to do. And then suddenly the BBC would say, you know, what did they say? <laughs> oh, yes, they said, what, oh, well, darling, what's next year's going to be? And um, it had better be better than last year's, you know. And so we told them what we were going to do, and they'd say, all right, darling, go away and do it. Bagpuss gave a big yawn and settled down to sleep. And Professor Yaffle, where's Professor Yaffle? Yeah. Uh, he's in the museum. Oh, poor yeah, yeah. shoots him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 quite right and proper. <laughs> a few years ago, I said to the muse, I called her up and said, Muse, dear, what's next? And she said, I've made you 12 complete worlds down to the last nut, bolt and flipper, and that's your lot. And it was. We didn't think of anything serious new from then on. Why sit there thinking of the past, recounting empty days gone by? <laughs> well, the thing is, I, I put them all away in these boxes, and I thought, that's the last time. Put them away. No, there isn't no such no. thing as the last time. If somebody very rich, a yank, came over and said, I've got $45 million to make Clangers the movie, would we do it? I'd take the money. Well, I'd take the money and let them do it. Yes. And, as, long uh, as, we, as long as we could watch over it. Up to, yes, yes. Well, oh, $45 million, they could do what they like with it. <laughs> no, they couldn't, actually. Think of no, the marvellous no. technology they use now. Yes. The Star Wars technology with the Clangers would be great. They, would they be able to think of anything? No, you'd think of things. They no, I wouldn't think it. of it anymore. No, my thinking doesn't work anymore. Not for that. Yeah, we'd look forward to it. Yes, please. Please arrange it. Yes, certainly. That's right.